questions I think we can squeeze in here. This is the kind of question that each candidate drew before the debate. They have two minutes to respond. We begin. Mike Pompeo, your question is, what policy should we have regarding the Middle East nations to assure stability in the region? You have two minutes. Well, we, we talked about this a little bit uh, when we, we talked about Turkey. Uh, with respect to the Middle East nations, there, there will be a series of varied policies. We will have a different relationship with each of them because they'll behave differently. Uh, our, our primary objective of there always is American national interest, not the interest of any other nation. Today that says that we need to make sure that we are closely allied with the other democracy in the Middle East, Israel. So we need to make sure that when Israel needs support and needs a friend, it knows every time that they can rely on us. Uh, today, I don't think they do. I think they're very concerned that when push comes to shove and when Iran moves further down the road, that America won't have its back, and we need to make sure that we do. Uh, we know this, too. Our Middle East policy is greatly affected by our energy consumption here in America. We need to make sure we do everything we can to reduce our dependence on those foreign petroleum products. And when you look at Syria and you look at Jordan and you look at the Palestinians, one thing can be very certain. They do not share our world view. And when you see radical Islamic terrorism around the world, we know that they intend to do us harm. At every turn, we've got to make sure that we understand them, that we're prepared to fight them wherever they pop up, and that we're prepared to defend our nation and our interests no matter what the cost. And in any way we can do that, because we can't begin to secure our borders and do the other things the federal government must do until we know that we've got a nation that is prepared to defend itself. Marks, how would you propose that particular projects in Kansas get funded? Well, to answer that very directly, I'm 100% opposed to earmarks of any type, shape, size, or color. There's no need for earmarks. They have been abused and have been abused for many, many years by politicians to, quote, bring home the bacon for no more than to get reelected for one more term and to spend another 10 or 20 years in Congress. That's not what we need. Now, to answer the question directly, uh, I've been very involved in that other side of the coin, the other side from earmarks, the other side where an entrepreneur like myself figures out to raise the capital to create the companies and to create the jobs. You do not have to go to the government till the drive up window. There's a lot of other ways to secure success. One way is to get a group of businessmen like myself around the table. And instead of challenging them, calling them names like the United States government does with all of our allies, you make friends, you make decisions, you take a leader like myself with the skills to envision them with my ideas, and that is one way you can eliminate earmarks. You need to get people in a position that understand how to move the ball forward, how to create. I will say it again, I have spent over four decades doing just that, and if I may say so, I've been very, very successful. We drew these backstages for Jean Schodorf. What changes do you propose, if any, to allow state governors to deal with crises such as the oil spill on the Gulf? Lucky you. She just made the cutest little face. Who wrote that question? <laughs> governors have the ability now to ask uh, help from the federal government, but, but generally, Governors are in charge of the National Guard, and the National Guard uh, has has come to our aid so many times in the last few years with the tornado at Greensburg, with the ice storms that in the far west, with all of the disasters that we've had, with the floods in southeastern Kansas. And the problem is that we have run out of money uh, because we have to pay for that. And so... One of the things that could help the governors who know what needs to be done in the local or in the states is to have a true partnership with the, uh, better with the feds so that they can get the money faster and also the response time faster. There's got to be plans of the federal government to be able to respond faster, not just, uh, well, for every state. And it's really response time. It's a plan so that uh, people in New Orleans don't wait 
can when there's a hurricane. People here uh, don't wait when there's a tornado to help our citizens uh, who are hurt, who are needing help. Okay. And finally, we have Jim Anderson. Your question, would specific, what specifically would you propose to do to secure our southern border? Well, get a new attorney general. Let's start right about that. New Homeland Security Chief. Um, hopefully a new president in 2012. Um, to answer that question, enforce our laws on the votes, ladies and gentlemen. Something that our administration and past administrations have not wanted to do. Enforce the laws on the books. And you do things like Jan Brewer did. God bless Jan Brewer. She's doing the job that the federal government's supposed to do. The federal government for the Constitution is supposed to defend our country, defend our borders, and defend the Constitution. And they're not doing that. If they just did that simple little thing and enforced the laws, we wouldn't have the problems we're having. Um, number two, give the Border Patrol the tools and the resources and the support they need to defend those borders. And instead of having to, to call uh, some uh, bureaucrat or an attorney to see if they can defend themselves uh, on the border, they need to be given that control. They need to be given that support. And they need, third, uh, thirdly, um, and is important, build that fence that they were going to build. That, that alone will not be a deterrent, but that will assist in keeping uh, our borders safe and secure. And we need to send the message that there's no more freebies in this country because we're broke. We are absolutely broke. And I'll close it. I'll close it with um, the corporations need to make sure they're hiring legal citizens as well. And if they're not, they need to be penalized for that. Thank you. It's time for a